YouTube. This is your boy Hakashi Plus 7. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you something useful if you edit videos on your Android devices using KineMaster. Now I'll be showing you an application which will allow you to remove background noise or white noise from the audio of your video and it will allow the video to be clearer and, and all of that. So I have created a test video audio well basically a video with just the audio i covered the screen so i'll play this for a second and you'll hear a little hissing in the background and then i'll take you to the procedure which i'll carry out um to remove the background noise i'm just testing out this audio quality so i could edit it after production so basically i'll be removing any white noise from the background making the audio clear clear and crisp for my video okay so that that video there had a little frying in the background and i'll be using an application called denoise to remove the the background hiss from this video so let's launch this application it has a simple user interface and it is quite simple so you could simply load the audio if you have a separate audio from your video you could simply load the audio you could use this to record audio or you could load the video or you could even use it to record video now seeing that we already have the video created we would simply need to load the video and the video would be in our recent so let me click on that and let me play it so you can hear that it is basically the same hey youtube this is Hacker Triple O Seven. I'm just testing out this audio quality, so I could edit it after production. So basically, I'll be removing any white noise from the background, making the audio clear, clear and crisp for my video. Okay, so once you've realized or identified that it's the correct video, you'd simply need to click this down arrow, and basically the type of noise that you want to reduce. It is. On occasion it is usually white noise um, set the noise type and the reduction or the decibel reduction would basically be at around 40 somewhere there about and reduce noise and it will take its time to to load and once it's finished you will have a new video and it also compresses the video size so basically this does more than one thing. This reduces the noise and it compresses the video size. So let's give it some time to finish. Okay, so now that this has been completed, let's give it a play and hear it. Hey YouTube, this is Hacker Triple O Seven. I'm just testing out this audio quality so I could edit it after production. So basically I'll be removing any white noise from the background, making the audio clear, clearer and crisp for my video. So as you can hear guys, it is perfectly clear. There isn't any more white noise. So the noise reduction decibel would be around 40 and then you could simply click the download icon right there and it has been saved to your device. Now this will be saved to a folder called DShake. So if you should go to your file manager, you would see a folder called DShake video and that would be the, the one. So if I should click on it. Hey YouTube. 
this is how it will play now this file size before editing was around 30 megabytes and as you can see it reduced it to less than 4 megabytes so that is pretty cool it reduces the size and it does not affect the quality of the video i can assure you that so the next step would be to to hop into kind master import your new video clip and basically continue editing your video I will also be making a tutorial on how to use KineMaster to edit your videos and so on, a little tip about it and tricks and so on. So with this tool combined with KineMaster, you could have highly professional videos edited. No one would know if you used a phone to edit your videos after you've combined both of these applications from your device. Denoise plus KineMaster, the ultimate tool to to basically create perfect videos on your Android device. So I'll also be creating a tutorial on KineMaster because I've been editing videos for quite some time. So I believe I have the capabilities of doing so and showing you guys a little tip and trick on how to use it to edit your videos. So that is it for today's videos, guys. If you found this useful, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Hakushi Pro 7 out.